I'm going to show you how to calculate the amount of solute in a given preparation given the ratio strength and the volume of the preparation and we are starting right now. Hello, this is Dr. Dankwa and if this is your first time here and you like to learn pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks and more, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. This video is part of a series on ratio strength calculation so be sure to check the other videos out. I'll put links in the description and the card should be popping up pretty shortly. Now one of the things you should be able to do when it comes to ratio strength is to be able to calculate the amount of a substance when you know the ratio strength and the volume. So I'm going to demonstrate how you do that using three powerful examples and by the time we are done you should never get these type of questions wrong. So let's get right to it. This question says a skin test for fire ant allergy involves the intradermal skin prick of 0.05 milliliters of 1 is to 1 million weight by volume dilution of fire ant extract. How many micrograms of extract would be administered in this manner? So here we are required to find the amount in milligrams will be the amount of solute of the fire ant extract and will be given the ratio strength. So the first thing we want to do is take the definition of ratio strength. Here it is 1 is to 1 million. So what that means is you have 1 gram of fire ant extract in a million milliliters. Now this should be equal to some quantity in grams over the given volume of the preparation. And here our volume is 0.05 milliliters. Now because we want our answer in micrograms, a prudent thing we want to do is to basically convert the grams to micrograms. So the conversion states that one gram is equal to a million microgram. So we can rewrite this ratio as follows. We will say that a million micrograms of fire ant extract is present in a million milliliters. So that's the ratio strength expressed in micrograms. And what that would mean is our quantity that we try to find will also be x micrograms over 0.05 milliliters. So this is a proportion which means the units on the left hand side of the equal to sign should be the same as the units on the right hand side both in the numerator and the denominator. So we can go ahead and solve for x which means that x is going to be equal to 1 million microgram times 0 0.05 milliliters divided by a million milliliters. The milliliters cancel out and the zeros cancel out. And so now what you end up having is x equals 0 0.05 micrograms. Let's take a look at another question which says, in acute hypersensitivity reactions, 0 0.5 milliliters of a 1 is to 1000 weight by volume solution of epinephrine may be administered subcutaneously or intramuscularly. Calculate the milligrams of epinephrine given. So let's start off by analyzing the question. Here our goal is to find the amount in milligrams of epinephrine We've been given the ratio strength, which is 1 is to 1000, and we know the volume of the preparation, which is 0 0.5 milliliters. So we start off by taking the ratio strength, which is 1 is to 1000, and what that means is that you have 1 gram of epinephrine in 1000 milliliters of preparation. And so we want to figure out how many grams will be also present in the 0 0.5 milliliter preparation. Now, since our answer is going to be in milligrams, a prudent step would be to convert the grams directly to milligrams at this stage so that your calculations become really easy. So the conversion is 1 gram is equal to 1000 milligrams and so we can substitute that into the ratios and proportion above which would mean that you have 1000 milligrams of epinephrine in 1000 milliliters of preparation. It will then be equal to some quantity in milligrams over the 0 0.5 milliliters. We can now go ahead and solve for x. So x is going to be equal to 1000 milligrams 
times the 0 0.5 milliliters divided by a thousand milliliters the milliliters cancel out and the zeros also cancel out and so now what you have is you have x being equal to 0 0.5 milligrams now let's take a look at another question here you have a prescription which has tetracaine hydrochloride 0.75 percent you have epinephrine hydrochloride 1 is to 4000 you have cocaine hydrochloride 3 percent you need to add some sodium chloride and then your total preparation is 30 milliliters so now the question says how many milligrams of epinephrine hydrochloride is needed to fill the prescription so let's start off by analyzing the question our goal here is to calculate the amount in milligrams of epinephrine hydrochloride we've been given the ratio strength to be 1 is to 4000 and we have the quantity of preparation to be 30 milliliters so now what we do is we start off with the ratio strength which is 1 is to 4000 and that will mean that we have 1 gram of epinephrine hydrochloride in 4000 milliliters of preparation now that should be equal to some quantity in grams over the 30 milliliters so because our answer is going to be in milligrams it may be a good idea at this point to convert the grams to milligrams which will make our calculations really easy down the line so the conversion factor is one gram is a thousand milligrams so now wherever we have one gram we're going to put a thousand milligrams and so what that will mean is you now have a thousand milligrams of epinephrine hydrochloride in four thousand milliliters of preparation that would also mean that we have some quantity in milligrams divided by 30 milliliters so we can now go ahead and solve for x which is our unknown so x is going to be equal to 1000 milligrams times 30 milliliters divided by 4000 milliliters the milliliters cancel out and so x is going to be equal to 7.5 milligrams so i hope you found this tutorial useful and if you did like the video and share it if you have any comments leave them in the comments below and i will get to them as soon as i see them now if you like to learn more pharmaceutical calculations tips tricks and strategies be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss anything thank you so much for watching enjoy your life and i'll see you in the next video